Lexi has arrived at Davies for her surgical procedure and we will be taking you through her journey, specifically focusing on her anaesthesia care and treatment plan. Following a consultation with Ronan, Lexi's veterinary specialist, she has, is admitted for her procedure. Today, Lexi's registered veterinary nurse is Kath and she will be admitting Lexi. Kath will confirm the notes discussed with Lexi's specialist and explain what happens next and when someone will be in touch with an update. Lexi is then led down to our modern Ken facility. She's weighed and identified and her care is handed over to the dedicated kennel nurses who will be looking after her throughout her stay. Then Lexi is assessed by her veterinary anaesthetist so that an anaesthesia care plan can be developed. This plan is tailored to her individual needs. In Lexi's case, she receives pain relief and sedation. The specific drugs and the route of administration will vary depending on the individual patient needs. Lexi is then shown to her bed and allowed time to relax whilst being observed and monitored by our kennel nurses. In the meantime, the equipment required for Lexi's anaesthesia is set up and checked. Lexi is led through to our induction room by Beth, her theatre nurse, where an intravenous catheter is placed to allow safe delivery of Lexi's anaesthetic drugs. Her hair is clipped for cleanliness. Anaesthesia is induced with drugs administered intravenously. The selected combination of drugs is individual to each patient. Transition to unconsciousness happens quickly and smoothly. Once anaesthetised, a breathing tube is placed in Lexi's airway. This allows the delivery of oxygen and inhaled anaesthetic agents. Anaesthesia is generally maintained via inhaled agents with additional drugs and techniques such as epidural anaesthesia to provide optimal pain relief. Extensive monitoring is used to ensure safe delivery of anaesthesia and to allow early identification and management of any problems should they arise. The surgical and anaesthesia team will already have discussed Lexi's case prior to admission. However, they will reconvene throughout Lexi's journey to recap on her progress on what is happening next, on timings, and to agree a team approach every step of the way. Lexi has moved on to her back for clipping. This is to ensure optimum cleanliness and to allow surgical access. This is Ronan, Lexi's surgeon, checking on her progress thus far. She's now ready to be transferred to theatre and she is accompanied throughout by her theatre nurse, Beth. Once in theatre, Lexi is placed on a warm air mattress and her temperature continues to be monitored. Anaesthetic monitoring and perioperative care is continued throughout. This may include additional pain relieving drugs and fluids administered during the procedure. While the surgical theatre team prepare, Beth stays with Lexi throughout her procedure. Following some procedures, additional imaging, including x-rays, may be required. Once the anaesthetic gas is discontinued, Lexi will spontaneously recover from anaesthesia and return to consciousness. During this process, she is continually monitored and cared for. Once safely awake, she is transferred back to her bed in kennels by Beth. Once back in bed, the theatre team will hand over Lexi's care to the kennel team, who will ensure that she has a calm and quiet recovery and who will assess her pain and ensure that she receives adequate pain relief throughout. Once Lexi is settled, Ronan calls her owner and explains Lexi's journey so far. He makes sure that her owner is reassured of her safe post-operative recovery. Lexi recovered rapidly after her procedure and was able to go out for a walk. When this happens will depend on the individual procedure and the individual patient illness. Later in the evening, Lexi's owner receives a call from Rhiannon, part of the veterinary nursing team, for an update on her recovery and to confirm when she can come home. We've used Lexi's case to explain the anaesthesia progress and the team involved in her care and treatment plan. Some steps in this journey may differ depending on your pet's procedure and on their illness. But we can reassure you that at Davies, every patient has their own dedicated team, which will include anaesthesia, nursing and surgical team members. It is the team around every patient that ensures that we offer outstanding care for your pet.